I'm going to show you how to properly anchor and hold spawns in hardpoint on our dens forest. Anchoring or holding spawns refers to when you have a player, which is usually the assault rifle player, which in the current meta could be the FG42 or the bar, either one will do just fine, is sitting in a part of the map which will force your team to spawn in an ideal spot on the map, while forcing the opposing team to spawn in a less fortunate part of the map. The ultimate goal is to have one anchor, one person in hill, and then two people pushing out the entry lanes, which forces the opposing team to spawn back even further. In this situation, if the hardpoint is in Bunker Hill 3, the goal is to have your team spawn nice and close to the hardpoint hill, while making the other team spawn all the way back in buttfuck nowhere, and then waste 30 seconds running back just to get whopped off the map by a difficult defense to break. You also want to control spawns for the upcoming hills, so you always have to be thinking ahead. Rotating is key, so you can see why being in total control of your opponent's spawns would be important. Obviously, to win a 4v4 you need skilled teammates as well, and they have to understand that rotations are a big factor in winning a hard point, but these tips should help you significantly increase your chances of winning. For the first hard point, Cave, there's a lot of contest involved. Teams are going to be running into each other at full force, and most of the points will come from whoever holds the entry points better and who isn't being too big of a bitch and goes sit in the hill. My goal in this playthrough, and I'm not even sure if this is right, but what the fuck ever, is to flip the spawn so that I can anchor on the west side of the map, which will set up for the second hard point, Ruin. Hard point is secure. We're breaking their backs. Hard point is getting overrun. Need reinforcements. We're being outmaneuvered! Hard point is getting overrun. Need reinforcements. Hard point locked down. We have the momentum. Seize and defend the hard point. Regroup! New hard point! Move out! Now with ruins, I still want to hold the west side of the map. I'm going to keep watching for flanks because the other team should want to get me out of this position. It forces them to spawn all the fucking way back there. And there's a real son of a bitch head glitch at top ruins, which allows you to just stare into a motherfucker's soul while you wipe their entire team off the map as they mindlessly funnel into your team's guns. The other reason I'm holding this side of the map is the bunker rotation. As stated previously, I want my team to spawn on bell side, so if they have a faster route back to bunker just in case we die on rotation or wall in hill. Should I die from this point? It's likely that I'm going to spawn in no man's land, so depending on how much time is left on the hill, I'm probably just going to say fuck the scrap time and I'm immediately going to rotate back to the west side of the map. I might try to pick up some kills along the way just to help my team. The other team, if in control of ruins, will probably be pushing through mid to get to bunker, but my goal is always to be in the right position at the right time, meaning I need to be anchoring that spawn in the back of bunker. Alright, I'm in the back. I'm in the back. We have the lead! Coming from the back, coming from the back. Got him. New hard point. Move out. All right, on Hill 4 East Road, I'm not going to lie to you. There are differing opinions on this hill, and I might be wrong here, but I've found that this works better for me. If you spawn here, you do have less distance to travel to get to the hill. However, you basically have just this one entrance beside the tank, and you will die a fucking lot because you're basically just running into a goddamn meat grinder. 
What's worked better for me is continuing to hold the west side spawn, and then when my teammates have spawned up, I push up to this truck behind the barrels, and then I just mow these motherfuckers down when they charge through to contest the hill. As long as your team is watching the middle flank and holding the cave lane, these guys will spawn here every time, and you can just rack up the kills with your assault rifle. Before we get to the rest of the game, that's the formula that I try to follow. It's been working out for me, at least on these kind of low bronze silver tier levels of ranked play. It's at least helping me get some wins, which is helping me try to drag my ass out of the scrub tier level of gameplay. The key thing is positioning. You'll probably die and you'll spawn in a non-ideal spot, but your goal is always going to be to get your team out of that shitty situation as quickly as possible and try to stem them bleeding. I hope this video helps. I might do more of these if there's any interest. I had a lot of fun making this. Thanks for watching. Enemy holds the hard point. Hard point in allied hands.
Great work. They are in full retreat. 